Hello all, it is I, Ragrath, back again for another episode of Tectonica. Okay, so carrying on with the efficiency build, and where I have started building the rooms to be able to build everything for a future factory, I'm actually running out of iron. There's not enough iron being made, uh, and I tried... Uh, doing this last time without any calculations uh, to to speed it up by building a second level up here and whilst this helped it's not enough for the amount of stuff we now need because in total i need 1620 ingots per minute and each of these rooms only produces 200 per minute so i'm actually only producing at the moment four hundred which as you know is not quite enough so excluding the eight smelters i already have which are producing 400 that means i need to have 1220 ingots per minute extra on top of what i already have so this is going to be 35 new freshers 21 new drills and 28 new smelters I've already built a load down below, so I've got plenty to be getting on with. Uh, and I'll say 28 smelters here. It's actually 24.4, but because of that extra 0.4 I needed, I decided I'd build another four on top so I can keep my ratios of drills to freshers to smelters going without worrying about uh, messing with the numbers I've already got going. Okay, so... Moving on with this, what I decided is I'm going to stop building these rooms. These rooms are going to be inefficient, um, apart from if they're around a vein like this. So, what we'll do is we'll go up and we'll build a whole room for the freshers, I think. Uh, so let's start off by doing this. So where are we? And if I am correct, is yeah, it's one back and one across. So it's like... Yeah, and then this one probably is in the way and no is this wrong I have gone wrong must be one back must be here so we've got two up haven't we that's better and then this one goes like that one down two across yep that's right okay so I will find the right keys. Do that. And... I have to get rid of this one. And that. Then we should be able to go up. There we go. Right. There's going to be a bit of moling to do here. So, you know what happens when I get my mole out. I will skip ahead so that you guys don't have to worry about watching this. But all I'll do is, uh, you know, keep myself like this two away from the edge and I'll go all the way around and wipe all this content out. I'll probably do it all the way across this one as well because I think I'm going to need extra room for the the freshers. So I'll be back in a minute. And with the power of editing we now have a nice big clear area over these uh, two buildings here. So freshers. What I'm not going to do, I think, is I'm not going to start by building walls. I'm not going to build walls on this one yet. I'm going to wait and build just the bit I need at the moment. So let's get rid of this side. And if we go with these across this way like this. This is good. Not sure how many we're going to need. I think we need like three per row of freshers. And if we're having five freshers, the same as below, that obviously means that we are going to have seven lots of three. So three sevens is 21. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. We need more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
It's out there, apparently. We may not even actually need it that far because there's going to be less space between each of them this time. So let's put that in. And what we will do eventually, because we're not using this area at the moment, I might use this as storage and build some vaulted pillars. I think that'll look good. A vaulted storage area here. I think that's going to look awesome. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to get this bit done because this will take long enough. Right, let's go up and see how we're going to build these freshers first. So we're going to want an incoming on the side. So we're going to leave a space. So let's leave, let's leave a whole space on the side. And then let's have our freshers. Yeah, let's leave a space all the way around, I think. So if we start them, not worried about the conveyor going on it. But I don't want the, there we go. Right, so one, oh, that's too close. Or can they be right next to each other? No, they can't, can they? Because I need the space. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. And then we do five, but the opposite way. So, I mean, how are these? These are, so they need two spaces on the output side because we have this. Two spaces on the output side. Okay. So one, two for that, and then that all comes down there. And to be honest, we can take that back down over the top of it. So we only need the two spaces. I think this is how we're going to do it. So if we do it like this. One, two. Oh, hang on, because these are going... Yeah, they'll, they'll all feed onto the same way. That's all right. Yeah, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, I've gone wrong somewhere because these aren't lining up. Oh, this has got extra space in between here. Yeah? Means these are wrong. And you. So you're there. You're there. You're there. And you're there. So this side. I think because. I'm lagging a little bit, and uh, it doesn't help with getting these in the right place whatsoever. So these ones have to point this way. One, two, three, four, five. Is this our last row? What have we got? 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, no. We're, we are a, a little off. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. Okay, four. you've got a good collection of threads. Yeah, we do. Now. But don't stop until I tell you it's like an earthquake around here. But I want to stop. It's making me lag. Two. Three. Oh, hang on. Did we not build enough? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Oh, we need another two. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need some relay circuits. Where do we get relay circuits from? Oh no, I thought I'd built enough for this. 
Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna find some relay circuits. Okay, all. <laughs> I'm back after getting a few relay circuits. I had to actually rebuild some stuff <laughs> there, unfortunately. But that does mean I now have a few more of these. I built a few extra, just in case I'm gonna need some later on. But there we go. That should be our 35 now. And we want one extra space, so we only really need to come up to here, don't we? Um, let's get rid of this. There we go. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yes. Right. Let's put down uh, our tracks. Hang on. Which side do we take in? We take in on the side before? No, the side before is the outside. Oh, hang on. Have I put these the wrong way around? Uh, it doesn't really matter because either way, it's going to work. So. If this is the outside, they need to come down. So let's do down, and these ones are the inside. So they need to come from this side as well. Yeah, these need to come from this side. This is all right. So this is for feeding them. And this side is for extracting them. That's all. They all go the same way. Good. Yeah. I've got enough track by the looks of it. And you'll probably not see this out because it's getting smoothed out by the 60 frames per second, but this is starting to hurt with the lag. Gonna have to destroy some of the factory, I think. Uh, the old factory, not the new factory. Uh, so the bits that I think are creating enough stuff. I think I might get rid of this is the feed inside. Okay. So how are we going to do the feed in? Because these all want an equal amount. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different bits coming in. So if we have three, three, and one, no, that's not really going to work. So how are we going to do this? I think it's just going to be uh, a split, isn't it? So I think what I'll do is I'll keep these. I don't want that doing that. So we're going to have to come one more out. Fortunately, because there's no way of me bending these end ones without ruining that. So we're going to have to come out one more. And if we do to this one and it's the side so it's that one needs to come out there. Not that one. This one needs to come out. But this needs to go this way. And do one, two. Oh, hang on. Is there? There's only two. And then one, two this way. So there is only four. There is only four. So if we have this going this way. And then on this one, that will split. That will split actually evenly, won't it? That will split evenly. Because I'll put two lots down there and then that will split. That's, that's all I need. I thought I was going to have to do so much more splitting, but I won't. If I put everything onto one row, but hang on, how many... How many do these use per minute of the things? Am I going to be able to do enough on the, the track? So they only use three per minute. So three 35s is um, absolutely fine. 
that track will work at full speed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drills on this side. And so we're going to have to move this track and this power line. But down here, we've got two veins that we can use. We've got a vein here and a vein here. And we need to get uh, 21 drills going and all dumping onto the same track. So, I'm going to do some more molding. Okay, so I have cleared out this uh, big old area right here. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, time to have a look at what we need to do. So, the first thing I'm going to need to do is get rid of these. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, what? Oh, what's going on over here? There is some sort of weird bug going on. Oh, things are still in the way. No, I can walk through them. Oh, uh, what's happened? Oh, uh, no. Has my game corrupted? Uh-oh. Seem to be able to walk through these. No. This is on my last save as well, so... Oh, no. I'm sort of stuck in stuff here. I can't go through stuff here. I must be in the walls. The walls are still there. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is a fun bug. Um, I'm going to go and try and sort this out, and uh, I'll be back with you when I have. Okay, thankfully, um, <laughs> saving the game and reloading it did make it come back again, so I've got everything back. I'm not sure what that was. That was weird, because obviously, you know, it knew where everything was. It just decided that uh, it wasn't going to load them in. Okay. I need some stairs. So, number four. These in across here. There we go. <clears throat> now we can climb up again. Okay. Let's uh, see what we need to do here. So I need to move these so they go around the back of the area I've cleared around here. I wonder if I delete them here. Then, do I have them on my bars still? I don't think I do. Let's put those on there. So this one is the right-hand side one. So we want to bring you up over here. Like this. Oh, hang on. I've not done this right, because those are way too low. I forgot to change the height of these. Don't forget that you can change the height of these, guys. Okay. So I've got mine on Control-R. I'm not sure. I can't remember what the default is. But my default never actually set itself anyway, so I put it on Control-R. Then let's bring this up this way. And then that should join on there. Nice. So that keeps that out of my way. Let's do the next one. So I want to bring you up this way. wonder if I put it next to this one. How that will work. Let me clip. Let's put it to the side slightly. I think that'll work. And 
that is a clipping. That's a clipping. Oops. Doesn't clip. Okay. That's good. Now they can carry on. I don't think we've clipped at all. It just... Oh, it clips a bit here. We won't worry about that. All right, let's sort out the power line. Let's get this uh, sorted as well. Do we have this on? Not that I can see. Go on there. Oh, I forgot we've got all the, the stuff from where we've been uh, mulling out. Is that why I'm walking slow? Let's just dump it here for the moment. Got a lot of plant matter. Right, that'll do. It's got that all out of the way. I hate having these boxes everywhere though. I'm gonna have to tidy them up at some point. So what do we want here? So let's get rid of this as well and let's take it. That's 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 coming from over this side. Um, can we take it straight through there? It's going to look ugly here, but, you know, I think it will be okay overall for now until we get to sort that out. We'll pretty it all up later. Where is that? Can you see the power lines? I cannot see the power lines. My eyes are... Found them. It'll do. Right. <laughs> Will it go through them? Yeah, it'll go through. Yeah, it'll go through. And we've got the extensions now, so we can probably take it quite far. We just sort of bring it all the way up here. That'll work. Then we can just... surreptitiously put this one through here. There we go. We should be all powered again now. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, drills. So we've got to fit 21 drills in here, and we've got to feed the mining charges to each one of them fairly as well. So that's going to be fun. One... And one, two, three, four, five, six. If we can fit six on top as well. Do I get 21 of these? 21! Um... Oh, they don't sit on top without having flooring. So we're going to need some flooring. Let's put flooring underneath these. I think we're probably going to need to bring it out reasonably far as well because of the way we're going to need to separate them. So... It's on the edge of this one, and it's back it's there. Right. Three, four, I love the five, sound of mining drills in the morning. I want to hear six. more, Breaker. More. Oh, you can you can hear more, but we've got twelve. I don't think we're going to be able to fit more. Not another six, at least across here. Maybe five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, kind of. Might last for a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to have that. I think I'm going to get rid of that. 
So 6, 12, um, 12 plus 4 is <laughs> 16. Now we've got to fit some more around this one. 16. Seventeen. Oh, we can't fit that in. So hang on. Let's try and move these across a bit. Because I can probably fit three there. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. The two at the back. Twenty, twenty one. There we go, that's everything that we need for those. We just need to split these incoming mining charges properly. Now for these sixes and the four, it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, so if we have enough coming, so if we have 21, oh, hang on, what are we going to need for this? So it uses, Right, one per 12 seconds, isn't it? So that's five per minute. Um, so... What are, what will that be? That'll be five times 21, won't it? So we're going to need 105 per minute coming down this way. Hmm. Now, splitting these off so they work perfectly is going to be the interesting bit, I think. So, if we have them coming in here, remember this one needs to face to the right for some reason, some weird bug there, but we can have you going into there, you going into there, and you going into there. This actually... No, 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 that's right. So this needs to go into that one. Yes, yeah, so that splits. Then that splits. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I see. I see what I've done wrong here. So we can only have the max of three on a split, can't we? Oh boy, because of the way the split has worked. So this will split, and it will split down there, and then down there. But then it will split down there, and down there, and then down here. Yeah, it'll do it wrong. It will do it wrong. So this one needs to actually split at this point. So that needs to face to the right. Also needs to go straight on. But then this one needs to come off and go down here. Oh, I put the wrong one in there. Um. Yeah, so this has to be a three-way split here. And now you see why I put these extra extra blocks across this way, because that will work nicely splitting them. We just need to make sure that five times uh, six gets into here. So we need 30 per minute into this one. Do the same on this side. So straight across and down. So it's just this one, isn't it? That needs to change. And he changes up like so. Okay, and that should now feed those six nicely. Okay, so this is the set for six rather than a three. Do the same up on this one. Let's bring them... Bring it down as well. So, where do I start this? I start this on this one. Like this. Then this one down here. And this one has to come one away, across, and then back down this way. And the feeding out isn't going to be so important, because they're just all going to feed onto the same line. And then need to do this one, which is down this way. Straight 
straight across here. And then one out, because we can't build them right next to each other yet. Roll on three, and that's good. So they should all be fed nicely now. We can we can just stick these in already. Need to get power to here, but we can sort that out in a second. Oh, we've run out. Right. So six twelve. It's gonna be similar here, but we've got four. So this one will be alright as well. We can just do exactly the same by doing Right. Right stuff. Was it, was it one in, was it? One in? Or was it two in? One in. We got an extra one on the edge, don't we? Yeah. There we go. Let's put that in there. And then these ones can just split like this. don't have to worry because there's only two on each side so the splits will happen absolutely fine and not mess up so that's your build for evenly splitting onto a four and should we bring it up at the, yeah let's bring it up at the same level so let's bring it across this way Like so. Okay. So that should be this side all done. Let's put some some of you in to take in. Brilliant. And then we need to do this side as well. So let's put some more flooring down because we're going to need some of this down anyway. I don't want to do is just waste flooring underneath there because it's not usable under there. Nice. I'm going to take that all the way over to here. And then. Is this actually going to match up now? Oh, I can't believe it. It matched up. <laughs> that was so lucky. I didn't think about trying to match that up, but it worked. So this is going to be interesting. Can we use the twos to get down here? Press the ones as well will work. Because we want them to be able to join. Kind of need an extra one down, down this side, just to cover this last little bit in. Yeah, perhaps we didn't. But it'll, it can stay. Let's go with some stairs then. So, can we fit it in with these two stair bits? Yeah, these work. That's good. Lovely. That's not nice. Um, when did I get 15 by 15? I've been doing everything 12 by 12. But I've actually got a 15 by 15. Why? What is going on here? It's not working. What? I'm... <laughs> I got another bug. What's going on? I'm trying to go down. Oh my gosh. I'm going to ignore that. We've done the mauling. Um, we'll have a look at that later. Okay, so that's good. Now we just need to feed these things. Oh, hang on. We should be getting power. Why aren't we getting power? 
Oh, we are. We are getting power. It's just the uh, fuel warnings. So, let's feed these. So what have we got on this side? We've got a three here and then two right now. So we can do them both on separate lines. Two. So this three, we know how to do a three. So this one has to be facing to the right. Freeze are easy. There we go. And then we can have one coming down around the back here, can't we? And this one literally just needs to split once, like this. There we go. That is good. Now, all of these need to join on to the same line. I No, they don't, because how many am I going to need? I've got five over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I've, I've not got the right amount, actually. Because I've got an odd number of drills. So I kind of want to split them in half. But not. I'm just going to have to waste a few mining charges, I think. So what I'll do is I'll split the 12 off. And then we'll go for 12. We'll pretend it's 12 on the other side, even though it's three less. They'll, they'll just get a few extra mining charges. Um, but it's the best we can do at the moment. So let's uh, have a look at how we're getting them down there. So mining charges, mining charges, um, 521s, what was it, 105? Um, we need to get 105 mining charges out per minute. Is this blocked up again? Yes. <laughs> um, we've really got to start using this plant matter at some point just to get things working. Uh, right. So, we're checking out... My, so, I need to be checking out 105 per minute. Oh, my God. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. But we shall endeavour to find out. Let's uh, do these splits first. So, this one and this one need to have half a split each. So, let's come up onto here. And let's do the same with this one. But this one is going to come down, around, and back and join on. Like that. So, that splits into two uh, for those two. Uh, no, it's meant to be this one. There we go. Then this one needs to join on with these ones. But we're going to split them in half too. So it's actually going to be these ones that will get the extra. So... These two need to split like here, and then join back on over this side so that the split is even. Okay, so half of them will be going that way, half will be going this way, this way will then get half, then that way will get half, this way will get half, and that way we'll get half. Yeah. Okay. So these will be getting a few uh, a few extra, and these ones will be getting a few extra as well. But that's okay. We can work with that. Let's bring it to the side, shall we? Just so it's... Okay. 
probably make this look neater by having the split on this side. Yeah, let's do this. So if we have this as the split, like so, get rid of that. And that. And as you can see, it will then split this way instead. So it will split. And half will go that way, half will go this way. And then it splits again, and then it splits again here. That works. That's good. We could probably move this to the other side as well, just to make it look nice and neat. So if we put split here... And you know, we can just do this. And then it's all contained on this side, rather than having some more come out this side. That'll work. Um, oh, so the stuff going this way also needs to split, doesn't it? So that half of it comes down here. There we go. So that splits it. That side to that side. That splits four, and then this splits in half again. Okay. Woo! We are working. So what we want is... So we've got six, so that's 30, so that's 60 each side. So it's 120 we really want to be sending down overall. And 120... 120. We're going to have to redesign this bit, I think. Because we can't really get 120 out easily. Let's have a think about this. I think we could probably take this down the side here. So let's get rid of these. So they are now in the way. Uh, let's put them... I know, they can just go here. So much waste to get rid of. Right. And then let's take these down the side. Yeah, this is the way we're going to do it. But I want to bring this up as well to the next level. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put track all the way down here. Just to act as the one that's going to raise it up. How high do I want this to go? No, because that's going to... I'm going to make these go under eventually. But for the moment, I'll just have them on top and it will be a little squarely. Let's go with that. Right. So, you're just going to join on over there, like so. And this one can then go away. Cool. That will then enable us to have two pulling out of this side. But that is not going to be enough for what we need. Because that will only do 80. We need 120. So we kind of need another 40. We can get another 20 from this side. But I don't think I can... Because those need to do 15 each. Those need to do 15 each, and if I do 40, 40, plus 20, that's only 100. Um, can I move this? If I move this back one... Yeah. To be honest, I don't even know why we've got this. This isn't going to help us. Let's just change that up. And then we can just utilize this. And that'll work. We then have... Yeah, 120 per minute. 
that will work. I'm going to change this slightly by... Okay, let's put this in here. And then... This. Do this. Yeah? Now, I want to change this up even more, but I don't want to slow the flow down. So what I am going to do is this. And I can just change that. Then that gives me some room to work with here. I can move this one now to here. So... We change that to mining charges. Oh. Then I can bring that out, cross, and back in. Except that's in the wrong place. Six. There we go. Swaps that over nicely. And now I've got myself 120 around this side with three of these. As you can see. Woo, we got there. Right. So this can just then come down this way. Uh, we want to go down there. So we want to do a little squirrely turn here. And that. Should now be bringing us 120 per minute down this way. And start these off. Woo. That took a little while to work out. But we'll let that run for a bit and we'll see how that goes. Let's look at now getting the iron back up, which needs to get right at, right to the top, doesn't it? To feed in up the top. Okay, so to get ourselves up here. We are coming down this bit here. Right. Let's see what we're doing. I can't wait for vertical belts. Oh, have we messed up? Yes. Okay. You down. Brilliant. Right. And we can just have this come up same squarely way as this coming says there we go squarely way done and then We just need to feed these all back out. So let's bring them across this way. I'm going to bring them across this way. Join them on like so. And we can literally do... this. It looks a bit squirrely, but it's going to have to do. Probably try and make it look neater, but I think this episode's gone on long enough. Okay, so that's working well. 
Um, I'm running out of these. What do I need? Processors. I'll, uh, I'll grab them in a minute. Let's get the things set up. There's no power in these ones. Look at this. We need power, which means pillars. Just stick some pillars on the end here for the moment. Got that coming down there, so I might move that out one and then put the pillars there. We'll see. We don't got this one joined up. Yeah, he's joined on. Why? Why is he not getting any? Ah, I see. <laughs> so those ones were getting extra. But that should work now. And now they should all be firing on all cylinders. Let's no. come one out. And join on there. Okay, so that's those ones feeding. These ones, how should we feed these? Should we, we can bring them down this side. This will be all right. Just join them on here. So. And hopefully this will go straight down this, uh. Not quite, nearly. Now, we didn't bring this one out far enough, so this... We just bring it right back here, and we can make it look similar to the others, can't we? Oh, not sure if that one took one, <laughs> but it might have done. Um, Like to say. Right, is that all of them done? Did I do the top ones up here? They're not getting power. Oh, oh, what happened here? I've done this wrong. Oh no. Never mind. We'll, uh. I'll sort that out. Off camera, because, you know, that's not fun. We'll just stick that in there for the moment, just to give us power at the top. There we go, now they're working. And we can join these back on to these ones. So what we can do with these ones is this needs to go like this. This one, let's turn on here. Whoa, lovely. But this one, rather than putting it back down that side, we'll bring it down this side and put it over here. I think this one can just come down and join on over here somewhere. Maybe even just like that. Oh, that worked perfect. 
Looks a bit messy. But efficiency is king. And these things are definitely getting one on time. Yeah, as I said, these ones were getting them a lot quicker. But that's all right. We know we're, we, we've got a bit of wasted job here. Everything here seems to be working nicely. I'm just going to go and grab the bits needed. Let's go and do that. So, what did we need? We needed some of these. The processors, they're over here. Processors, processors, processors. Let's build ourselves a load of these red things. And then let's uh, get this working. Okay, so how many... So these will only be producing five a minute. So these sixes will work nicely. How fast inserters will work perfectly here. Ah, so we don't have this one feeding out. Oh. Might have to look at that in a second. Get these working. Oh, that's that. Let's fix this bit and then let's go and have a look at our freshers again. So, how are we going to fix this one? I think this isn't going to be too hard. I think the way of doing this is just going to be to bring this down here do this. Oh, can we not go under? Yes, we can. But we're going to have to change this up. But if we're changing it up anyway, is it worth just doing... this anyway? Maybe. Let's have a try. work doing it that way now. That's okay. So we can get rid of this bit. Don't need that anymore. But will it get down here properly? Let's have a look. Oh, just perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It worked. Wonderful. All right, let's go and see how our freshers are doing. We are backing up. Oh, you know why that is? I haven't put any inserters in to the freshers. So let's do this. Um, but it should be every two it's coming down. Yeah, working nicely. Okay, so we've built a load of these, haven't we? Let's chop these up. You know what? It's going to be easier to go down one side and come back again, I think. Yeah, on this side. It's all taken in. Yep. Good, good. Like so. And this side. Uh, 
Hang on, hang on. Do we do? No, we haven't done this. Three, four. Oh, hang on, I've done this wrong. Ah! Um. Yeah, that happens when uh, you're lagging like I am. <laughs> Where was the hole? There it is. Right, so I wanted to get rid of that one. Put it in there. You in there. Thank you. Now why I got these wrong? I did. We can't have it looking different than the rest of the factory. Okay, so that's those two done. Then last of all, it's these two. fell off. What was I doing in here? Was I using reds? No, I was using purples. Yeah, because I need to use purples to pull them out and then grab a lot of those ends. Okay. Frame rate. So, we need some more of these. That'll do. And it was one, two, three. I obviously won't make you watch me place all these guys, but um, I'll place all these and uh, get it all working and show you where. Second. Okay. Gone through and uh, done all of the iron bits. Um, just now to say what I'm doing with the uh, the gravel that we get as well. So the gravel needs to be able to um, come down this way. So we're going to end up with the gravel all at this end. So, if we do this, you'll notice that this isn't quite right at the end here. I need this to be one out, so that we can fit the gravel in. So if we do this, that should fix it for us. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do that, because that is going to be that. Like so. Brilliant. Then what you'll see here is that we can just pull the gravel out of the end of this one and put it down there. And we can do the same here. Except this side needs to collect this way. Because we've got the spare space here. And this one can just come straight across and join onto the gravel Yeah, It should go like that. There we go. But these ones start pulling out the opposite way. So we can just do that for the gravel on those ones. And then, as you'll see, 
this side will then pull the gravel out this way like this. Gravel. Okay, I'm going to go and set the rest of them up exactly the same as this. I'll be back again in a second. Okay, so I made an error. The ones on this side, we need to change up these. Uh... So let's let's do this a second. Let me just get rid of this. And these middle ones need to go as well. So what I've done wrong here is I do need to bring these gravel down this way on this side. But to do so, I'm going to need to remove these ones on this side because of the way that it works. So you'll notice that when I put all of these in, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let me just put these back in. Oh, that's not in the right place. Uh, oh. This. Right. Then what you're going to see here is... there is now enough room for them to have a flat bit here for it to feed into. So these will have to come up this way and connect on at the end. And that's not working. I think then what we're going to, have to do at the end here is just keep this at second level. Maybe. So if we keep this at this level, then we need to take these back this way, like this. And these guys can both go in like that. Put one here, it should then connect on. And then that can bring it back down this end. Like that. Okay. We, we're going to need to change this because of that. But we're now getting those both down at this end, as you see. And as soon as all of this is filled in, it will work perfectly. Two, three, four. And as you see, these can now join on into the little dips in between. So that was just a mistake on my part there, guys. So make sure that you don't copy the mistake if you're going to. And these can just bring out gravel. And that will make these this row all run nicely. Once it all catches up. Brilliant. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go do the rest of this now, and I'll see you in a bit for carrying on with the smelters. Hi all. Well, I finished building all of the... Well, I finished building all of the... Um, all of the conveyor belts for these, so that they're pulling out all of the gravel. But I did change things up, because I realised that if I'm taking both conveyor belts all the way down and bringing one down the middle, there's really no need for that because I can just have the conveyor belt coming down the middle with both joining on from either side so I did change it up that way and that does mean that these can actually stay at this end as well so you know there's that to consider as well when you're building guys but uh, that's going to work for me on this for the moment. 